بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اخوتي في الله حياكم الله الله يبارك فيكم we're going to go straight to our uh, sentences today barakallahu feekum you all had this for homework barakallahu feekum you know in your homework you're going to read your sentences one time and then uh, you're going to read them several times from memory I heard it according to hands where was it a link that was given for the class now and one of the brothers put up that link and uh, uh send that link for the hands where i think the link was uh apple link but inshallah the dictionary is good i think you all can start using it now and it'll be helpful now the dictionary hands where you look up uh the the words according to alphabetical order now -uh. if the word is uh uh lafif maqroon if the word has uh the ain al kanima wal lam al kalima the last two letters are the same like shadda or madda and you look up meme dal dal or sheen dal dal and it's going to be like the first of the dal you know but you'll get used to it anyway after you look up a word like zahaba if there's an a after it if it's an a written after it means it's yadhabu yadhabu if you look up a word like jalasa and there's an i after it, it means it's yajlisu as a customer if you look up a word like dakhala you're going to see a u written after it, it means it's yadukhudu with a dhamma did you all understand what I'm saying, brothers and sisters online? After you look up the word in the Arabic, whether this is Zahaba or Jalasa, there's going to be an A or an I or a U written after it. That's to indicate what what the Ainul Kalima, what the middle letter is in the Mudari. Because in the Mudari, it can change from Yaf Alu to Yaf Ilu or Yaf Ulu. And you have to be keen of that. Also, the first thing that it mentions after that is the Mustar. It mentions the mustar, now, and that's important on the mustar. But the mustar has to do with nouns, and what we're doing now is a conjugation of verbs. So there's something that's called tasrif. Tasrif is what we're studying conjugation. There's tasrif al afal, the conjugation of verbs. That's what we're doing. But in book number two, we're going to do tasrif al asma. That's the whole uh, way that we're going to do this. Then when we do the other scales. We're going to do the Af'al with Asma together, together, together. There are 10 scales, and that which this book, these five books, cover all 10 scales. That's what these books are about. Sorry. Tasrif al Af'al, the conjugation of what? Verbs. But Tasrif al Asma, that's what this is about. That's what these books are about. Then after you do that, you study Naho. Then you start studying Naho. Grammar, you don't study grammar before that. Tayyip, if we understand that, barakallahu feekum, on page 169. As-safha at tasi at was ba'da 169. You all have this exercise. You have to add kullu to the sentences that are here. I'm going to let you all have your books open today, but, you know. It really counts is when you read it without looking. And y'all did that in the house, reading it without looking. But we want to move today. Hey, I'm going to read it, Barakallahu Fikum, without, I'm going to read it as it is in the book on this page. And you're going to read it, adding kullu at the beginning of the word that's underlined. Take your time. It, it, it can't be the maqsood. The purpose or the goal of this is that you just add kullu to the sentence and it's all chopped up. No, it has to come out smoothly. It has to be fluent. It has to be fluent. Taib, let's start. Bismillah. Attakakinu mughlaqatun ba'da al-adhan. Indik ya Isa. Tayyab, y'all say it one time looking, one time not looking. Tayyab, let's start again. 
الدكاكين مغلقة بعد الأذان. Say it one time looking, one time not looking. كل الدكاكين مغلقة بعد الأذان. طيب هي اسمها دكاكين، but no, that's good. That's correct. Yeah, continue. كل الدكاكين. كل الدكاكين مغلقة بعد الأذان. نعم كل الدكاكين كل الدكاكين. بنا شد على الداء. كل الدكاكين. لا دكاكين دكاكين. كل الدكاكين مغلقة بعد الأذان. نعم عندك يا داود. So when we say when we see that word is مغلقة كن has a dhamma the 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 mouth is أغلقة. أغلقة means he closed. He locked. Aglaka means he closed, he locked. Al ibadatu lillahi wahda. Kulul ibadati lillahi wahda. Kulul ibadati lillahi wahda. Naam. And you all be careful when you have these two lambs that come together. The first one is mushaddat kullu, then the second one has zakun al ibadat. كل العبادات كل ال and don't say كل كل العبادات is not clear take your time كل ال كل ال the first one is شدة كل the second one is لول كل ال the first one is قوي the first one is أبي why they call a شدة because you have to be شدي no you have to be شدي that's all right a شدة what is what is what is the shape of a شدة it's a sheen without the dots no what is the shape of a sukun? It's the head of a kha. That's in the in the Quran that we read. The shape of a sukun is the head of a kha, meaning khafif, be soft. Do we understand that? In the Quran that we read, the shape of the sukun, who are ratsu kha, ratsu kha, is the head of the letter kha, be, kha, be ma in a khafif, be soft with it. The, the, the shape of the shadda is the head of a sheen, meaning be shadid, meaning shadda, shadid. Naam. Who made that up? Who's the one that put that in the Quran? Al Khalil ibn Ahmed al Farahidi. Al Khalil ibn Ahmed al Farahidi. Uh, these are these, these, they have simplified for us Arabic. They, they did that when Islam spread to the foreign lands, to the non-Arab lands. They saw that it was difficult for them, and they did these things. They added it. Until today, Arabic is evolving. So now you have letters like uh, for, for P and for V, letters that are not actually Arabic. They have a way to write it. Nah, and it's always evolving, and that's how language is. Naam, Al-Khalil ibn Ahmed Al-Farahidi. He's the one that invented four things. He invented the Hamza, and he invented the Sukun, and he invented the Shadda, and he invented something else. But these three things, he invented it. There was no Hamza before him. As far as writing, not pronunciating, as far as writing it. Naam. He invented it. He put it in the Quran. He's way after uh, the companions of, of the, uh, uh, after the companions of the Messenger of Allah. Naam. Sayyid. And the Fatin Kasaros Dhamma, writing it, was originated by Amr ibn Zalim, Abu al Aswat al Duwali. And the the way that it's written now with the line on the top and the line on the bottom, a little Dhamma, somebody named Yahya ibn Ya'mar did that. He's from Rijal al Bukhari. He's in the, in the chains of Imam al Bukhari. His name is Yahya ibn Ya'mar. He and he made the Fatah and Kasar on Dhamma on the way that we see it today, he did that. There was no such thing as it being written in the time of the Prophet. As we read the story that Amr ibn al said to his daughter, Quli ma ahsana sama waftahi faki. She said, open up your mouth. He didn't say there was a Fatah there. There was no Fatah. There was no such thing. Also in the time of the Prophet, there was no noon, there was no dot on the noon, there's no three dots on the thigh, there was no dot under the bot. There was none of that. You just had to know it. Nah. Are you all with us, Barakallah Fikum?
Arabic is a science by itself. Arabic is a bahar. La shati laha. Arabic is an ocean. It has no shore. It doesn't end. It's an ocean with no shore. Nah, but we just want to take what we can to understand the Quran and Sunnah, and we don't want to go that deep into it. Nah, but it's good to know that. Tayyip. So we want kullul ibadat. Kullul. Kullul. Kullul ibadat. You have to be clear. Tayyip, endik ya ghalib. هذا الطعام صدقة للمساكين كل هذا الطعام صدقة للمساكين ومتعب. كل هذا الطعام صدقة للمساكين Your reading is very clear. That's good. Very clear. Nah, that's good. أيام هؤلاء الطلاب حفاظ the kitab illahi ta'ala. Kullu ha'ulai at-tullab hufadun li kitab Allah ta'ala. Li kitab billah. Li kitab billah. Li kitab billah ta'ala. One more time without looking. Kullu ha'ulai at-tullab hufadun li kitab Allah. Li kitab. Li kitab illahi. كل هؤلاء الطلاب حفاظ لكتاب الله تعالى كتاب بال لكتاب بال الله تعالى لا لكتاب بالله كتاب بالله تعالى نعم بس كل كل ما يصير كتاب بالله بتحا عن كتاب بالله تعالى so uh this word حافظ is singular حفاظ is a plural حفاظ it's on the same scale, Hufaz, Tullab, Kuffar, Fujjar. That's a scale for plural. That's a scale. Like Masajid, Mafail is a scale for plural. This is a scale for plural. For ah, you say Hufaz, Kuffar, Tullab, Ummal, workers, Ummal. That's a scale for Jamaat. Are you all with us online? So you don't have to be worrying like, what, what could possibly hufad mean? What could that mean? If the word is hafiva, and that's the scale for jama'ah, we could finish. Are you with us online? The word is hafiva, and that's the scale for plural. Okay, you're antum sarfiyun, your students are sarf. That's how you think. Like what's the scale? What's the word? What's the three letters? What's the root word? That's how you think. Naam. Taib When you say kulla, it's not mushaddada. Say kulla. When you, you have to put your tongue up there. There's two ways to put your tongue up there. You're going to put it up there if it's like a lamb sack and say alhamdu. Then after you say alhamdu, it's lilla, that's mushaddad. It's not the same lamb. When you say alhamdu, you're going to put it, your tongue up there for something that's soft, lamb sack and alhamdu. You say lillahi, you're going to put your tongue up there for lamb that's mushduda. It's shadda. It's not the same lamb. Then when you say rabbil alameen, that's going back to the sakin. And that's going to be somewhat evident in your recitation. So how did, how did, Barakallahu Fikum, you all walk with me? When this stuff wasn't written, there was no sukun and there was no shadda. How when they wrote the Quran, they know where they put the shadda, they know where they put the sukun, because that's the way they took it. That's the way they took it. That's how they recited it. So now that they have to write it, what was first? They recited it or they wrote it first? It was recited first. They were ummiyun. They were people who didn't read or write. So now that they have to write it, it was so clear in their in uh, recitation that you can say, oh, that's a sukun. Oh, that's a shadda. That's an ah. Are you all with us online? Can you, you can't say kullu, kullu, kullu al-haqaib, kullu, kullu. 
Kulu. Kulu. You're going to put your tongue up there. When something Shadid, listen, the letter is not the thing that Shadid. You the one has to put shit that at that time. You have to do it. You. The letter's not going to do it. You have to do it. Now, you have to put your tongue hard. You have to put your tongue soft sometimes. You have to do it. You have to implement that. Now, Kulu. Kulu. It's a Kulu. 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 Nah, cool. You have to put your tongue up to the makraj of the lamb hard. Not extra hard, but harder than a sukoon. Brothers and sisters online, are you all with us? That's on you. You're the reader. The letters are not reading. You, you're the reader. You're the reader. You have to do it. You have to convey that. You have to distinguish between and differentiate between sakin and, and shadda. No. What is a shadda? A shadda is two letters of the same kind. The first one is sakin. The second one is mutaharrika with the fatah or kasar or dhamma. Again, what is a shadda? A shadda is an expression of two of the same exact letters. Two of the same exact letters. Instead of writing the letter twice, they write it one time. They write it one time. But it's two letters. The first one has a sukun. The second one has a fatah, a kesra, or a dhamma. Shadda, shaddi, shaddu. Ya Dawood, you with me? That's what a shadda is. A shadda is an expression of two of the same exact letters that are written together. Instead of writing this letter twice, they write it one time. Nah, -uh, they write it one time. Are you all with us online? Tayyip, 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 Indak, ya. Keep it with you, ya Abdullah, ya Abdul Sabah. Hal ghasilti as-suhoon, ya Maryam? Hal ghasilti kull as-suhoon, ya Maryam? Again, that's good. Hal ghasilti kull... Now I'm good. So, I, so when you make it shadid, don't make it long. Kulla. Just make it shadid and go. Kulla. Make it shadid, make it hard and go. But don't hold it. Don't hold it. Ishtaraitu hadai. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are all these sentences understood? All these sentences are understood. Brother, sisters online. The meaning of all these sentences are understood? Anybody has any questions? Just ask. No. Any questions? We put all the bags in the bus. Did you write? Did you wash all of the the dishes? The spoon, the dishes. The fall is the memorizer of the Quran. These students are memorizers of the Quran. No. I am inshallah. I am. Ishtaraitu hadaya li awladi hadaya. Is the plural for hadiyatun? Hadiyatun is a gift. Hadaya is the plural gifts. Ishtaraitu hadaya li auladi. Ishtaraitu hadaya kull al auladi. Ah, this one is a tricky one. This one is a tricky one. Kullu auladi. This one, this one is a tricky <laughs> one. Qaddar <laughs> Allah, Allah just decreed that Harun gets the tricky one. Istoreitu ha istoreitu hadaya likuli likuli auladi. That's good. Naam. But now listen up. Give me a nice shadda. Likuli auladi. Likuli auladi. Likuli auladi. That's Arabic. That's Arabic. It's clear. Again, say it one more time from memory now. Likuli auladi. Men from the beginning. Istoreitu hadaya. Istoreitu hadaya likulli auladi. Hey, you gotta open your mouth, right? You gotta, yeah. yeah. You gotta open your mouth. You gotta put your tongue out. You gotta put it to the left. You have to ajin al ajin. What does that mean? You ajin al ajin. You gotta need the dough. You gotta need the dough. You gotta open your lips. You gotta push your tongue down. You gotta pull it out. You gotta need the dough. You don't need the dough with your hands. What do you need the dough with? With your mouth. Huh, y'all, y'all was needing the dough with your hands online. 
No, you have to knead the dough with your mouth. I mean, you got to open your cheeks wide. You got to put your tongue out. You got to open your mouth up. You got to knead the dough. Now, um, you have to knead the dough. And the girl got it. Allah Ta'ala yagfiru kullu dhunu. No, first, first, the, the, the second. Allah Ta'ala yagfiru dhunu. Allah Ta'ala yagfiru dhunu. Dhunu. No, no, dhunu. No, no, tell me. Nam. Allah Ta'ala Yakfiru Zunubi. A Zunuba. Zunuba, no. Okay, now Kulla. Allah Ta'ala Yakfiru Kulluz Dunu Zulu Kulluz Zunubi. But it's gonna be look look at this word. Look at this word. I want y'all just to look at this word. Look at the first sentence. Y'all walk with me. Allah Ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala Yakfiru A Zunuba. That's a fatah there now. Now, kulla is going to be in the place of the noob. And kulla is going to be mudaf, and the noob now is going to be mudaf ilay. So kulla is going to get that fatha that's on the noob. Kulla is going to get that fatha that's on the noob, and the noob is going to get a kasra. Right? Uh, you have to think like that. I want to, let's, let's not get in the habit of just saying Allah and not saying Allahu. Because when we say Allah, we're not saying that ha at the end. We're just saying Allah with no ha or anything. So say Allahu Ta'ala, Allahu, Allahu. Don't say Allah and don't pronounce the ha even if sakin. You know what I'm saying? Abdul Sabur. So get in the habit of saying Allahu Ta'ala. Okay, so read, read the sentence one more time. With kulla. No. Allahu Ta'ala yakfiru kuluza kuluza. Mm, again? Just this last part. Kulla the noob. How do you say that? Kulla the noob. Kulla the noob. Kulla the noob. Now that has a shed on it. Kulla the noob. Allah forgives all the sins. Hold on now. Does Allah you can forgive all the sins, even shirk? No. Yes, Allah forgives all the sins. Every sin, even shirk. What, what were the commands of the Messenger of Allah upon before they entered Islam? It was upon shirk. But now, if you die, now um, Allah doesn't forgive you. So let's understand that. Let's understand that Allah forgives all the sins, all of them. Now, um, but now, if you die, now um, Allah doesn't forgive shirk and kufr. Now, um, Taya, let's go back to the top. And ya Dawood, I'm just gonna go back. Ishtaraitu hadaya li awladi. Yeah. One more time. Okay. Let's move on. On to the next page. The exercise that we previously did is on this lesson, Kullu, learning how to use this word, Kullu. Brothers and sisters, Barakallahu Fikam, this word, Kullu, is for emphasis, it's for emphasizing. Because we read these sentences, Barakallahu Fikam. It's perfectly a complete sentence without kullu. It's perfectly a complete sentence. Naam. Then you add kullu just for emphasis. So you say al ibadatu lillahi wahda. The acts of worship are for Allah alone. If you want to emphasize that, you say kullu ibadat. Brothers and sisters online, are you all with us? The word kullu is for emphasis. That's the point of it. Naam. You can use it at the beginning of the word, or you can use it at the end of the word with the pronoun that goes back to what you are emphasizing. Again, you could use it at the end of a word attached to the pronoun, which is in accordance to that thing. When I say in accordance, as far as it being masculine, singular, as far as it being masculine, feminine, plural, or singular. You can use the pronoun in accordance with that which you're emphasizing, in accordance with masculine or feminine, singular, plural. 
We're going to look at some examples. You all read after me. We're on this page here. 170. Are you all with us, brothers and sisters online? This is how you learn to express yourself. Now, -uh. you have to be able to express what is on your mind and speak what is on your mind. Tetanekin, that you have the capability to do it. Now, -uh. let's read. You read after me. Ahmedu akalat ta'am. So, brothers, you're studying today. Tomorrow you're teaching. Give the student a simple question, simple sentence. Like when, you're not going to teach them kullu and I'm going to come with big new words. I'm not going to come with new words right now. Not the time to come with new words. Do that at the beginning of the chapter. Now we're doing with kullu. We want it to be clear as the sun in the sky. You all have that. Today you all are teaching. Today you're studying. Tomorrow you're teaching. Teach well. Give them a morsel, spoon by spoon. Now I'm. We have to perfect this. We have to perfect it. We have to. We have to perfect teaching Arabic. Naam. Tayyip. Ahmed Akala Atta'an. Ahmed Akala Ahmed Akala Atta'an. Kullahu. Afwan. But could someone please post the hands where link? Now, I'm good for reminding us. The brother that posted it, I don't see him here today. But if anybody has the link uh, for the uh, for the hands wear, please post it. If not, uh, we'll, 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 we'll try to do it again. Okay, good. Nah, nah y'all you all, you all do that. There's no problem. Interject in the class. Bring, ask for that which is necessary. That's good. Let's continue. Do we see how this is used? Kulla is at the end. Of the sentence, and that ha is going back to the ta'an. That ha, kullahu, is going back to what? A ta'an. Naam. Sayyid, let's continue. Latifa qara'atir risala. Latifa qara'atir risala. Latifa kullaha. How are we doing online? How are we doing online? Is this understood? Now we're saying kullaha because that's in accordance with risale. It's feminine. Naam. Ayyab. Waladi as-sagheer sama shahra ramadan. Sama shahra ramadan. So this has to do with times. It's going to be a fatah. Shahra. Has to do with time. It's going to be a fatah. Naam. Waladi as-sagheer sama shahr ramadan kullahu. Kullahu. It's a month. It's a month. Waladi as-sagheer sama shahr ramadan kullahu. How are we doing online? Everything should be clear. Like no shahra, no not that. No, I'm talking about shahra. No. Say, Jaddati jalasat ma'a banatiha. I'm sorry. Where did I go? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say. Layla hafizatil Quran. Okay, let's get that word. Don't say hafizat. Hafizat. Hafizo. Hafizo til. Hafizo til. Y'all are repeat after me. Hafizo til. This is a vo, not a za. Vo. Hafizo til. What's going to help you is taking your time. Don't smudge it together. Don't smudge it. Hafizo til Quran. Happy birthday, Quran. Take your time. Have some type of finesse when you speak. That's the beauty of Arabic. Have some type of finesse and sophistication. Do it on purpose. Do it on purpose. And this is online. Are you with us? Do it on purpose. Naam. Tayyip. Layla Hafidatil Quran. 
Layla hafizatil Quran kullahu. Layla hafizatil Quran kullahu. Don't smudge it. Don't smudge it. Naam. You, that's just good. Like you just think you just speak a couple of Arabic words, say yani, ha, da, 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 da. La, it can't be like that. No. It can't be like that. Has to be has to be correct. Has to be articulate. It has to be. No. We took uh we took a hadith. I want you to tell me who's the sahabi. We took a author, I want you to tell me who's the sahabi. Can a yildrib waladahu ala lahal? He stay it is son. When he made a mistake speaking Arabic. Who's the Sahabi? Abdullah ibn Umar. Naam. And that's in the Musannaf of Abdul Razak or Ibn Abi Shaiba. And the Musannaf of Ibn Abi Shaiba. Can a Yadrib ibn Umar can a Yadrib waladahu ala lah used to hit his son if he spoke incorrect Arabic? He used to hit him. What about you think he hit his companions? <laughs> Mashallah, Sheikh, can you remind me of the condition when it is kul or kullu afwan? That, that's, that's not really our class when it's kulla or kulli, but that's going to come. That's going to come. No, that's going to come. Tayyip, listen to this one here. Ya'qub, ya'khudhu al-awlaad ila al-masjidi. Yaqub Yaqudu al Awlad ila al Masjid. Yaqub Yaqudu al Awlad ila al Masjid. Yaqub ila al Masjid. So this one, the pronoun is going back to the awlad, so it has to be plural. Kullahum. Kullahum. But this is online. How are we doing? Sayyid, barakallahu feekum. Jaddati jalasat ma'a banatiha. Jaddati jalasat ma'a banatiha. That why does it change from kulla to kullu? Just be keen. I'm going to tell you right now, just be keen. Just pay attention. Why? We're not going to open that door. Oh, man. It's a, it's a tornado out there. I'm not opening up that door. Nah, -uh, I'm sorry. Just, just be keen. Are you going to pick it up? Sometimes I might just give a little idea. I didn't give an explanation why. I just I just explained a comparison. I said, Allahu yagfiru al-dhanuba. Yagfiru al-dhanuba hazaba. So now when you're going to say kulla the noob, you're putting kulla in the place of the noob. So kulla is going to take that fatha. I'm not explaining why, but I'm just showing you some comparison so you can just, you know, compare. Allah yagfiru kulla the noobi. Listen up. Kulla is mudaf, and that what comes after it is what? Mudafi ilayhi. Ba'adu is mudaf, and that which comes after it is what? Ma'ah is mudaf, and that which comes after it is what? Okay. So I'm not teaching mudaf, mudaf, ilayhi, fatika, sadama, but I just want you to compare that and take that into consideration. The mudaf, ilayhi is going to get a kasra. Okay. So I am. Jaddati jalasat ma'abanatiha. My grandmother sat with her daughters. Naam. Wa ma'a is mudah mudafilay, right? Ma banatiha. So look at this. Jaddati jalasat ma'a banatiha kulli hinna. Now it's kulli because it's ma'a banat. Naam. Naam. Ma'a banatiha. Kullihinna. It's gonna be kulli. Now, um, because it's stressing something that has a kasra. It's emphasizing something that has a kasra. It's banatiha. So we're gonna say kulli banatiha. It's emphasizing something that has a kasra. So it's gonna take that kasra. So why is there a kasra on banatiha 
on the first sentence because it's mudaf ilay tamaa. But why is it taking the kasra on the second one? Kulli hinna, because it's replacing. You call this badal. I mean, you, you, know, you don't call this badal. It's emphasizing that. You know, you call that tawkid. You call it tawkid. No. Okay, so it's just replacing banatiha, so we're going to get that kasra. It's emphasizing banatiha, it's the same thing. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters online, how are we doing? How are we doing? Barakallahu feekum. Listen, the Fatih Kasra Dhamma, if you don't get it, nothing pass you by. These Arabs every day, they speak in the Fatih Kasra Dhamma is upside down, but they understand the Quran. And they say Muslimun when they should say Muslimin. And they say Muslimin when they're supposed to say Muslimun. But they understand they're going to learn that later. And they say Musliman when they should say Muslimain. And they say Muslimain when they should say Musliman. They don't know the rules, but they understand the Quran and the Sunnah with his heard. Don't worry about that. That is going to come at its due time. You understand that, brothers and sisters in Islam? Brothers and sisters online. No, nah, Mishallah, it's all going to come. Nothing but just learn what kullu means. Kullu. Just learn what that means and how to use it. The fact that Kassar and Dhamma, that's going to come. But listen, I'm going to tell you all something. Sometimes you say Abu Huraira. Sometimes you say Abba Huraira. Sometimes you say Abi Huraira. My children, if they said it wrong, I say, nope, say Abi Huraira. I say, nope, say Abu, say Abu Fulan. I say Abi Ahmed. I say Abu Ahmed. I keep correcting them until they say it right on their own. They don't know why, but I corrected them so much that they know when to say Abu wa Abi wa Abba. Learning the actual rule, that's like another level, but the kids, you can't break down to them the actual rule, but you can teach them correct grammar. Nah, Y'all understand that? Nah. nah, I'm just affected by the word before it. Tie up. Let's finish this up. Nahnu talabatu ilmin. We are students of knowledge. Nahnu talabatu ilmin kulluna. Tie up, tie up. Barakallahu fiqh. That was a good exercise. Look what we have here. I like this exercise. Tomorrow we're going to do this. It's going to be a closed book. I'm going to add a word to it so y'all can just like it. Closed book exam. You like that word exam? Like, oh. <laughs> if I say exam, it's like, oh, now you got to pay attention. If I don't say exam, I say, I say homework. Ah, okay. It's just, it's just homework. Okay. Closed book examination. Right? Closed book test. Now, are you, now you're going to take it serious? <laughs> Look at these sentences here. It has, still has to do with kullu. Look at these sentences. Tell Sami Atal Khutba. Did you hear the khutbah? Naam, sumi'tu al khutbah kullaha. So listen, this, this sentence has two stresses in it, two things that are being stressed. He says, Hal sumi'tu al khutbah. Did you hear the khutbah? He didn't say, Naam, sumi'tu ha. He said, sumi'tu al khutbah. He repeated the word. You repeat the actual word, like you, if you want to stress, like I heard the khutbah. Nah. This is like if somebody said, you didn't hear the khutbah. Did you hear the khutbah? You didn't hear it. I khutbah. Like if somebody's negating that you heard it, you're going to come back with the same exact word. Nah. -um. Other than that, you're just going to come with the pronoun. Brothers, this is online. Are you with us? But we just came with this word just for learning Arabic. That's the only reason we came with the noun instead of the pronoun, just for learning, for the sake of learning. So you're going to say, Naam, sami'tu al khutba kullaha. And it's khutba ta, so it's kulla. Khutba ta, kulla. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can say, Naam, sami'tu al kullaha. But in the, tomorrow, no pronouns. You're going to put kullaha, you're going to put the pronoun on kullu. I want it just the same the way it is here. Let's look at number two. Let's look at the second example. Hal hafidha Ya'qub as-sura. Did Ya'qub memorize the sura? Naam. Hafidha Ya'qub as-sura kullaha. Naam. So look. It repeated Ya'qub and it repeated, repeated sura. 
It's not na'am huwa hafidhu ha. No. I repeated the name and the surah. Na'am. And then kullaha. You all understand the exercise. Well, I want you all to learn how to answer the question. Use in your answer the same words from the question. You'll be all right. Use the same words that's in the question in your answer, and you're going to be all right. Now, -uh. now look at the first one. You're going to do the Sahama again to come back. Hal akada zaydun al haqaib. What are you going to say? Naam akada zayd al haqaib kullaha. Am I going too fast? Okay, good. Barakallahu feek. Look at the next one. Hal sharibat Zainab al marak What does what does marak mean? Broth, broth, soup, broth. Naam. Hal sharibat Zainab al marak Naam. Sharibat Zainab al marak Kullahu. Kullahu. We're going to do this closed book exam. So you have to practice in your house. Read that which is on the right-hand side one time. Read it not looking four times, three times. Perfect your homework. Do it well. Naam. Naam. Tell you. Al fahim tadars. You're gonna say naam. Fahim to adars kullahu. How we doing? How are we doing? If we understand that, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Our time is good. We're going to move on. This here, we're going to leave this. We're going to do this tomorrow. I want us to get into something that's important. This here, let's look at this here real quick. It says, Ayamul Usbur, the days of the week. Ayamul Usbur, the days of the week. We should know this. Yawmul Jumu'ah, that's Friday. Yawmul Sabti, Saturday. Yawmul Ahad, that's, mon that's Monday. I'm fine, Sunday, that's Sunday. Yawmul Ithnain, Yawmul Ithnain, that's Monday. Yawmul Thulatha, nah, it's not Yawmul Thuluth. It's Yawmul Thulatha, it's a mud. Yawmul Arbi'ah, it's not called Yawmul Rabu'ah. Like the Arabs say, Yawm Rabu'ah. It's not Rabu'ah. It's Ar Al Arbi'ah. Yawmul Arbi'ah. Naam, that's Wednesday. Yawmul Khamis. That is what? Thursday. These sentences here, I want you all to read this on your own. These sentences have to do what? The days of the week. They have to do with time. The days of the week. These Jumal Mufida. I want you all to read that on your own. You're going to read it tomorrow. You're going to read it tomorrow. I'm going to read it one time, and you're going to read it two times from memory. So you have to do your homework. I'm going to read each sentence one time. I don't, I don't, I don't want to read one sentence now. I want that to be on you. Figure out what it means. Figure out what it means. The, the topic. The topic is what? The days of the week, time. Yeah, the topic, the days of the week, time. So tomorrow, I'm going to say, come yawman fil usbur. You're going to say, come yawman fil usbur. Come yawman fil usbur. Closed book examination. Final exams. You like those words like that? <laughs> say it. Yunus marida fajalasa fil bayt yawmaini. This, that's what it has to do, yawmaini. Now I'm, so you have to you have to come back. So you have you have to do it in the house. You can't just brush through it like you just read it real quick. No, you have to read it one time looking, four times not looking. Do the job. Do it right. If you're going to do it, do it right. Don't shortchange your own self. Don't cheat yourself. Honor yourself. Honor your studies. Now I'm. So what I want us to do now is get into this lesson. It is of extreme importance. Let's turn to the next page, page 173. Allah, Hafidhullah, Adas, Atasya, Asher, Dals number 19. Ho, 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 ho. Allahu Akbar. 
19 lessons. Each lesson, the topic, you learned something and you know exactly what you're learning. It's not about the grocery store. It's not about the post office. It's not about the museum. It's actually about a topic in Arabic that you need to know. Nah. -uh. Tayyip, this is the 19th lesson. Tayyip, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to give you all a test. I'm going to give you all a test. I'm going back to lesson number one. I'm going to ask you, what is the mir al munfasal? What is the mir al mutasal? What's an example of muzakkar wa mu'annif? What's an example of muf of 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 nakira wa ma'rifa? What's an example of mufrad wal jamat wal muthan? What's an example of lam wal muk? What's the lam example of mudah mudah filay? What's an example of and all the lessons that we did? Mom. We're going back. We're going back. Um, so look at this lesson for today. This is the 19th lesson. Let's read carefully. El Musarf. This lesson here has to do with Sarf. We had one lesson previously concerning Sarf. That what? That the Fa'ala scale, it goes from Fa'ala, like Zahaba, Fa'ila, like Shariba, and Fa'ula, like Qaruba. Who can give me another example of Fa'ala? The, no, I said the haba. Hadara. Well, give me an example of fa'ila. Example of fa'ila. La'iba. Na'am. Who can give me an example of, of fa'ula? Qaruba. Ba'uda. Hasuna. Kabura. It's big on him. Sagura. It's small. Na'am. Kabura. Al-thawb alayk. The thawb is too big for you. Kabura alayk. It's big on you. Um, so look at that's what we learned. Let's read what we have here. It says, Al Fatal Mubar. It says, Ayuha Talib. Y'all are just pay, pay attention. Read behind me. I'm going to translate it. Ayuha Talib. Ghafar Allahu Lak. Oh, student, may Allah forgive you. Ayuha Talib. Ghafar Allahu Lak. Y'all are just listening. Y'all are just listening. And that's what you say when you in your dua say Ghafar Allahu li. Ghafar Allahu li. Naam. Ayyuhat talib. Ghafar Allahu lak. May Allah forgive you. Darasta min qabul. You you studied previously. Anna al-fi'l madi ala thalatiki aksam. That the past tense verb is on three different categories. What are these three different categories? Fa'ala. Fa'ila. Fa'ula. We studied that before. But this is online. Are you all with us? And we have examples of that. It says, he says, Rahim Hafidullah, Wal an nadrus al fi'l al mudari min siga fa'ala bi ibnillahi fa'ala. Now we're just going to concentrate on fa'ala. Now, nadrus, we're studying al fi'l al mudari, the feet, the Future tense verb in the form of fa'ala. The other two, we're not looking at that. Fa'ila, we're not looking at that. Fa'ula, we're not looking at that. We are concentrating on fa'ala. Are you all with me online? Yeah, yeah. It says, Al fi'l al mubari min siga fa'ala ala thalatati aksan. The future tense from this past word verb. The future tense from this past tense verb that's on fa'ala. The future tense is on three different categories. Again, al mudariya min siga fa'ala, meaning the future tense verb from this past tense root. Fa'ala is on three different categories. Look at the examples. The first one is fa'ala yaf'alu. Like what? Zahaba yazhabu qara'a yaqra'u. So the mudari' the ain al-kalima, the ain al-kalima, the middle letter has a fatha. Like zahaba yazhabu qara'a yaqra'u. The second category says number two is fa'ala. All of them are fa'ala. 
All of them, the Maldi is fa'ala. All of them, the Maldi is fa'ala. But the mudari, the future tense from that Maldi is on three different categories. The Maldi is all fa'ala. The second category is fa'ala yaf'ilu, like jalasa yajlisu daraba yadribu. How are we doing, brothers? Clear as day, brothers and sisters online. How are we doing? The third category is fa'ala yaf'ulu. Fa'ala yaf'ulu. Like what? Kataba yaktubu sha'ara yash'uru. Ah. So this one, if that verb is fa'ala, you have to be on it. You got to be on like popcorn. You have to be aware. It could be three different options. Ya Harun, you with us? Brothers and sisters online, you understand that. You have to know. You have to memorize it. You, you, you have more of a chance of making a mistake if you didn't get it. Because I told you we're going to study. If it's fa'ila, if the Mahdi is fa'ila, if the Mahdi is fa'ila, 99% of the time is going to be yaf'alu like shariba ya sharabu la bisa ya basu la iba ya abu fahima yafhamu 99% of the time and if it's fa'ula 100% of the time it's going to be yaf'ulu like qaruba yaqrubu ba'uda yab'udu Hasuna yahsunu kabura yakburu. Brothers and sisters online, are you with us? So this one here, you have to pay attention. The other one, you can take it for granted. Shariba is going to be yasharabu. If it's yef, if it's fa'ila, it's going to be yafalu 99% of the time. So fa'ala, you have to pay attention. You know how bad it is? You, you know how embarrassed it is? How embarrassing it sounds when you say, that how about you say, yeah, who are Yev Hebu in the Dukan? They're going to be looking at you like, Yev Hebu. Like, where, where in the world did you get that animal from? <laughs> you know, it's like, Yev Hebu? Where is Yev Hebu? It's Yev Habu. I was going to say, Yev Hebu, you say, who are Yev Hebu and Bayes? Yev Hebu? I mean, come on, stop playing around. That's poor. So you have to memorize it. You have to memorize it. So is there a principle to determine the anal kelima or nah, I'm just memorize. Nah, that's that's what I want you to understand. This is the way the Arab said it. Nah. So you have to memorize it. You have to mem so you have to read. You gotta read your sentences over and over and over. Nah, speak and use it. Nah, memorize it. All right. That's our lesson for today. Let's look at the next page real quick. Look at these verbs here. We'll, we'll look at that later. Yeah, yeah, you have a mouthful. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think you got the gist of it. But this is very important. Just listen up. You all are learning Arabic with proficiency. We only want to learn a, a rule if it's necessary. It's pertaining to us. That's it. We only want to learn what's pertaining to us. Other than that, we're going to get into how to speak and understand. Now I'm so you all know what you have to do for homework. Tomorrow is our last day uh, of class. Uh, inshallah, I think this was a beneficial week. And, um, you all keep on working hard. Make dua. Don't just rely on your love for Arabic, but you have to ask Allah. Even Don't even rely on your hard, hard work. The people work harder than you probably didn't get what you have. Now, but ask Allah, who will be tawfiqillah. Is about the help and aid and tawfiq from Allah. Very important that you all learn Arabic with proficiency. Extremely important. Now, um, look at what you're doing. Now, um, the nataj, the results from this should be paramount if Allah wills. Tayyip, we're going to stop here. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashanu Allah ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk.